guys, and this video is going to be my April wrap up. Okay guys, so in the month of April, I read six books. Granted though that two of them were freaking um graphic novels and I read some poetry this month. So that that's pretty much why I read the six more than my average four month, which I've been keeping up with since January, which was awesome. The first book that I read in the month of April was Ivy and Bloom by Vanita. I don't know how to say her last name, but I'll put it on the screen. If y'all can pronounce if y'all can pronounce that good for you but not for me um i got this book from neck alley and as well as being in the books publishing and it changed my eyes review of course and i absolutely love this this is a book of children poetry i gave this a five out of five stars i love this so much i'm not going to go into it because i just did a review for it but i did enjoy this book of poetry and i did say this is something i want to add to my collection of books that i have for Kalia that i've been reading to her because this is a good book to introduce her to poetry so this is a good book that you guys can read to your kids or you could read for yourself in general it's just really cute okay so the next Two books that I read last month was Nomona and Lumberjanes by Noel Stevenson. And like I said when I did my review, I did not know that Lumberjanes and Nomona was, you know, written by the same person until I went to see what was the name of the author for Lumberjanes and I had no idea. But anyway, I gave Nomona a five out of five stars because I love this so much that I gave Lumberjanes three because I didn't really it was alright but it wasn't enough like first of all it was really short i didn't get connected with the characters like there was no time for me to get hooked on the characters or anything and yeah but um i found out my library has the whole volume so i'm gonna check out the whole volume and see how i feel about it because i didn't know they were that short and you know whatever but i love them and the was awesome and i did reviews for them like i said at the beginning so i won't get too much into the books the fourth book that i read last month is crank by ellen hopkins and i gave this a five out of five stars it was freaking awesome and it's a book of poetry about this girl named christina and it's about her, how she struggled through being addicted to meth and everything how the meth changed her whole life her relationships with people's friends family um strangers even how she looked at how she looked at life you know having this alter ego that would come out when she would be high or when she wanted to get high and how hard it was getting to hold this person inside and actually be her self that she remembers herself being it's intense it's but it's really good i did recommend it but it it does have trigger warnings i would say it has trigger warnings for anybody who has you know triggers for being addicted like drug addiction and also for rape this but other than that if you don't have any triggers go ahead and pick this book up because it was absolutely amazing and phenomenal the fifth book that i read last month is where the sidewalk ends by shell silverstein and i love this book as well i guess it's a five out of five stars this is children poetry and i really love this so freaking much i also say this is a book that i want to add to Kalea's book collection because this is also a very good book to introduce children to poetry with it's amazing like it, it really it, it's a good book for them to grow up with you know like it's not something that they'll grow out of really fast that oh my god they liked it when it was one and when they turned four they're not gonna have any use for it it grows with them you know it really shows children their con what consequences can be waiting for them when they do whatever actions they decide to do you know it, it makes them think twice i think this is a book that'll make you to think about really try to sit there before they just jump and do something to think about what might happen if they do this like what's the worst case scenario this will make them think about it and i really did enjoy this book the last book that I finished in the month of April was Little Peach by Peggy Kern, and I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I didn't love it. I did like it. And I did say the reason I didn't love it was because it didn't really pull me in all the way. Like, it didn't really, like, grasp my attention. And also, I was kind of disappointed by the end. Like, I wanted to see more of a really, like, like more of a conclusion for the end. Even though I know with situations like these, you don't always get to get a, a, a good conclusion. So, basically, this book is about this girl named Michelle and her mother is addicted to drugs, which causes her to run away from home and run away to New York. She lives in Philadelphia. She runs away to New York to be with a friend that moved, that said she moved to New York. We don't know. She gives her this address before she went to New York and said her and her roommate was going to be living together that she should come and visit her. And she went to try to visit her, but the address that she gave her was for the projects and the project had so many buildings. She didn't give her a building number or an apartment number, so she don't even know where she is. So that was a no-go. And this guy she met at the bus station 
um, offers a helping hand that he would help her and clothe her and feed her, give her shelter, and all she had to do was work for him. But in how he puts it, they take care of each other and that that was their way to get out of where they were. So basically she's forced into a life of prostitution, um, getting sold dreams that she'll never be able to buy, that she that'll never come true. That's what this book is about. So as you can see, it's a, it's a heavy topic. And like I said, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars because it didn't really catch me that much. And I was kind of disappointed by the end and I wanted a better conclusion than what I got. But other than that, I would recommend this. It was an okay book. It was alright for me. It wasn't something that I absolutely fell in love with or whatever. But it was good enough to where I would recommend it because of the topic. And because of how the topic was like executed. It really gives you insight on on how girls are forced into this life and what they deal with how their minds are manipulated so but i'm not gonna get into that because again i talked about it in my review and i don't want to make this another review video but i get to look a three out of five stars and i still think you guys should pick it up okay y'all these are the books that i read in the month of april it wasn't everything on my tbr that i said i wanted to read i did start to read king's cage and also i did start to read and i darkened by kirsten um white i think i named it but I didn't finish it. Like, list, I, I'm listening to And I Darken, which was my Ravenclaw read um, pick that I picked out of my recommendation drawer. Um, but it takes me so long to get to an audiobook. I just went and requested, like, the physical book from my library. So I'm going to go get that tomorrow so I can actually get through the book faster than listening to the audiobook. Because, yeah, you can change the speeds. But if you make it too fast, they're talking too fast. You can't even hear what they're saying. So I'm just going to go get the book book. And I might listen and read it together. So I might like that better. And I was, I did start to read King's Cage more because I was trying to get through these library books so I could bring all my library books back, which I still didn't get through two of the library books that I had. But um, I'm going to read that in the month coming, but you'll see that when I do my TBR. But um, yeah, though, these are all, everything I have for this video. These are all the books that I read for April. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> she, and it's about her struggles. Let's go. Fuck it up. 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 Let's go.